it. What really ails the Pumwani Maternity Hospital? That is the central question tonight following an incident where a woman delivered outside the facility. The Senate Health Committee has given a raft of recommendations including that the security firm at Pumwani Maternity Hospital step aside and instead either National Youth Service which is NYS or police should take over security affairs at the hospital pending investigations. Besides calling upon the DCI, the DPP and the ESEC to investigate the matter, the Health Committee is also calling upon mothers who have had similar experiences to present themselves upon request. Dorcas Wangira has more. The dust is yet to settle at the Pumwani Maternity Hospital. The 94-year-old referral maternity hospital, located east of Nairobi, is still a subject of national conversation. Today, the Senate Health Committee conducted a site visit to inquire into last week's incident where a woman delivered outside the health facility having been denied entry and before health workers could attend to her newborn the committee led by transoya senator michael mbito has proposed the raft of recommendations key being the security farm be suspended and the national youth service be tasked with security operations and that the dpp the dci and the escc investigate the mat to inform subsequent prosecution we don't see the reason why a nurse in pumwani now or any other hospital in nairobi should not be paid the same as a nurse in Kenyatta or MTRH. So at least we've agreed that uh, we are going to harmonize. Uh, in the next seven days, the, the, this team from Pumwani and also the mother and other mothers within Nairobi City County who have experienced such harassment by the security cards are get mass, should uh, are invited to appear before the Senate. Uh, if you contract private security, that security is answerable to you. But as the back and forth of blame game and finger pointing continues, health workers represented by their unions maintain that the regrettable incident was not a matter of negligence on their part, that the second stage of labor is not a respect of time and place, further adding that at the time minimum essential services were available even though health workers of various cadres were legally on strike. However, emergency health care is still a right that no Kenyan should be denied. Unfortunately, instead of us addressing the key issue that ends morning we decided to politicize it trying to blame healthcare workers for that is strong essentially what we should be doing now should be having a national conversation on how we need to revolutionize Pumani maternity hospital to understand what really ails the maternity hospital it is crucial to peel behind the layers of news headlines and look inward the county administration previously had proposed to privatize the hospital a move health workers strongly resisted Pumwani still experiences staff shortage for a hospital that conducts at least 100 normal deliveries a day 15 to 20 Caesarean sections a day, 2,000 deliveries a month. There are only 200 nurses and four to five obstetricians. It is recommended that there is at least one nurse for every two patients, not just for the expectant women, but also the newborns and mothers who develop complications. The hospital requires more specialists, including neonatologists and pediatricians. The hospital also requires expansion to cater for the growing demand for maternal health care, particularly for the higher population in Nairobi busy Eastlands area. Pumwani Maternity Hospital previously made headlines in September 2018 for not having cool boxes and incinerators. Nurses have downed their tools in February and July this year over unpaid salaries. The clarion call from health workers is to have a National Health Commission to look into labor-related issues including employment and deployment. Likewise, to have the hospital be upgraded to a level 5 purely specialized health hospital. The back lies solely now with Parliament to legislate on long-term solutions for the maternal hospital. Nationalizing Pomoni Maternity Hospital should be one of the moves, employing enough staff for that hospital, budgetary, budgetary provisions for such a hospital. There's no other hospital, not just in Kenya, but also in East Africa that can meet the demand that the Pumwani Maternity Hospital meets. One inciting incident may have brought all the attention in here, but it will take a lot to restore public confidence to the largest maternity health center in this country. Dorka Swangira, Citizen TV, Nairobi.